back. Oh. So what are we doing here? Um, we're using some I beam to make some mounts for our pool box. I feel like this is overkill, but it's all they had. It's all right. We got hockey pucks and we'll be fine. All right, guys. So this video is a little update on the. Kodiak right there. So we did some painting over the weekend, some prep, sanding. There's just way too much prep work, honestly, but it's turning out pretty sweet. And uh, I'm gonna flip the camera around. You guys can uh, take a look at this truck, look at the progress. I'm gonna also insert a clip of how it used to look because I don't think some of you guys have seen that. video from before and uh yeah what's up clip of it on, on Clady's garage oh uh, yeah <laughs> spin this around here you don't got one on the hood do you no oh man yeah you guys can see it had a it does, actually doesn't look bad in that picture but <laughs> had a sleeper on it it, the fuck, the sleeper was junk. I mean, it was leaking like through the the seam where it comes to the cab. I mean, it was it was trashed. Yeah, no. the old Kodiak. As soon as you see this thing hooked back up to the trailer, you're not gonna want to sell it. Though. I'm not selling the Kodiak. <laughs> the trailer can go. I think I don't need something that big. I think it's a headache. Um, yeah, not looking to have a CDL to move my bikes around, but. Who knows? We'll see what we do. We also have a semi truck that I plan on hooking up to that trailer. So anyway, let's get into the video. You guys can uh, see some clips from over the weekend and uh, go from there. You guys probably think we're Chiwis by spray painting a truck, but the truth is we're actually just putting a base down so we can wrap this thing eventually. That's what we're telling ourselves to make ourselves feel better. But we do vinyl wraps in house and this thing is going to get wrapped and it's going to look sick. But right now, eventually. How you doing over there? Uh, just, you know, 3M tape. Had to save these. These are sick. Little Kodiak badges. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, guys. I think this pillar looks pretty mint. <laughs> They're happy about it. <clears throat> Inside's all painted. We got the RJ proof back window. Can't break that. Got the hood over here. Got some paint on it. Primer, sanding, all kinds of fun things. So this is the weekend project. You only put that window inside and throw metal through when I got mad. Yeah, he gets he gets grumpy and throws shit. So <laughs> I figured when the metal place is taking way too long, because I know how he gets, <laughs> we would just put that in there so it's covered. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna keep spraying and burning more brain cells and uh, going from there. Yeah, I don't know if I'm wrapping this thing like badass or if it's just gonna be a simple wrap, but who knows. I don't want to be bothered by DOT or anything like that, so it might stay plain Jane, but we'll see. Just put not for hire. Not for hire wrap. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the truck. <laughs> not for hire. Well, guys, it's six on Saturday. This thing is coming right together. Hood's looking good. It's working on the grill. This thing is pretty damn rough. Obviously, it's like all the abuse. A lot of repairs to fix. Making progress. Just another Sunday. Thought it was Saturday. I don't know what day it is. Keep it right there, you're doing good. Just a lot of sanding, a lot of priming, a lot of painting. Things coming together though. It's gonna look sick. So this was the toolbox that we got a deal on off of uh, Marketplace. So we're just gonna freshen that thing up too before it goes in the truck. Make everything look really good. Welcome back.
Yep, a lot of repairs, but it's coming together. Yeah, hopefully that's the last time, huh? And we can have our shop back to normal. <laughs> Custom spray booth. Fresh floor action. Yep. Coming together. Welcome back. Cool. So what are we doing here? Um, we're using some I beam to make some mounts for our toolbox. I feel like this is overkill, but it's all they had. It's alright, we got hockey pucks and we'll be fine. We're gonna be just fine. Hockey pucks are good enough for the drip kids. Hockey pucks are good enough for our mounts. Okay. If they're good enough for hockey players, they're good enough for us. There you go. So two of them on each side, basically. It's gonna be great. I wanna blur that image out. Oh, the, the hockey puck image? Yeah, the ball holes to it. Yeah. Yeah, I might get kicked off the other interwebs because of that one. <laughs> we'll see what happens, right? We'll see what happens. We'll just send it. Cool. I think right. so the truck looks like heavy. Front end? No, not yet. So we got the hood back on. These are some old doors that came off another cab. And the white's a little off, so those are going to probably get wrapped or painted to match. But looking pretty good. Truck update. That is not our DOT number. Again, those are just old doors, so all that vinyl's coming off. But, dude, it's coming out pretty nice, honestly. Solid five footer, that's what we're aiming for. Solid five footer. We needed a truck that could do whatever we want, haul metal, haul bikes, mostly haul metal. Mostly haul metal. Getting materials and start start picking up equipment. You don't want to be using a trailer all the time. Yep, looking fresh. Not bad for a 91 Kodiak. So now, <clears throat> Drew's getting the toolbox mounting situation figured out i already got that all painted up rj's tack welding chunk of the door there was a small little crack yeah we got this all painted up a little dirty on the inside gotta get some new locks for it this was a marketplace find what's going on in the back there and we're gonna have I think just over a 12 foot bed off the back. We'll see. I'm gonna have the hitch mount on the top there, just like it was before. Haul the stacker, or just haul any trailer that's that style, and we'll obviously put a bumper hitch on it too. Yeah, it should be a perfect work truck. Thing was super clean, just had really bad paint on it. So somebody had sprayed some clear on it, and basically, well, you, you know, you know how bad the clear situation was. We only had to sand on it for like all, all weekend. Yeah. I went yeah, from was, welding to was sander. Welder to sander boy? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, in the next video, we will, I guess, have this on there. And uh, we'll start on the bed in the next video. Stay tuned, guys.